Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cody with The Connected Camper. Today is another installment of our Generator Runtime series. Today we have this Furman W2000i inverter generator. It is a 1600 watt rated 2000 watt surge inverter generator that we're gonna be testing through our generator runtime testing series conditions. Those conditions are one half gallon in the fuel tank at half the rated load. So in this case, it's gonna be around 800 watts. We're gonna see how long it runs, how much energy it puts out, and compare it to the other generators in the series. I'll get you over and show you the data that we're gonna be working with, and then we'll get off to the races. So over here in our Excel sheet, we have just the data around the Furman. It is an 80cc max force engine built by Furman in this machine here today. Rated output is 1600 watts, half of that is 800. The gasoline fuel tank size is 0.9 gallons, and in the tank we are going to have a half a gallon of 87 octane gasoline. Now we're going to be testing the time at 50% load with the half a gallon of fuel in there, then we're going to use the fuel tank size up here to extrapolate the run time and find out what it would run on a full tank of fuel. Um, the advertised runtime is 9 hours at a 25% load. I'm a little skeptical of this with how small this, uh, this fuel tank is here, um, but I guess we'll find out a little bit more. Um, we'll also be measuring the kilowatt hours to just compare this against other generators based on their efficiency with the same amount of fuel. The cost of today's test is $1.65 for one half gallon of fuel. And so that's also going to help us extrapolate the cost per kilowatt hour that's output by the generator. And for today's test, here are the tools that we'll be using. The very first tool is this little 20 watt LED work light. This is going to be a good indicator of when we lose power. Next is just a kitchen timer that counts up in hours, minutes, and seconds. Next is a temperature gauge. Generators perform differently at different temperatures. A kilowatt meter, various uh, surge protectors, extension cords, power adapters that we may or may not use, half a gallon of 87 octane, and then Lucas fuel treatment. So you just saw me get this Furman W2000i started. It is a little hard to start, um, and it's not that it doesn't fire. It's just that it, even once it's going, it just doesn't seem to want to take off. Um, that is one of the downsides of this generator. I have had the carb apart just to see if there's been anything in there. It isn't low on power or anything like that, so I'm not certain what is causing that. The spark plug also has an appropriate gap, so I'm not exactly sure what to do there. Now this unit is a factory refurbished unit from eBay that comes with a two-year warranty from Allstate, I believe. 
Um, it is sold by Furman uh, directly, and it is a solid machine. It does seem to be burning a small amount of oil now. There is a chance that it is just getting broken in still. At this point in this video, I have about 60 hours on it, and I've done three oil changes in that time just to get all of the metal flakes or anything else like that in there, kind of teamed down and out of the system so it's not continuing to run through there. Now, in that time, I have run a magnetic dipstick, and by that third oil change, there was hardly anything even on there. Um, but as you'll see throughout this video, it does burn a small amount of oil every now and then, and you really have to be looking for it. So it has tamed down. Um, I did message Furman about it, and they just opted to just send me a whole other unit. Um, I didn't want that exactly, but they already shipped it by the time they messaged me and by the time I read the message. Um, so I am getting another one of these, whether or not I wanted it. Um, and so they suggested just to use this one as a parts machine since it is burning oil. Um, but uh, I'm probably not going to do that. Um, I'm probably just going to mark it on there, let it continue to break in a little bit, um, get some additional hours on here, and then from there, see if it continues to burn oil, and if it does, I'll probably just end up selling it on Facebook Marketplace like I do with the rest of my generators here. However, I will note in the description that it is burning a small amount of oil. Now, as you'll see here, we are getting towards the end of the runtime test, and this thing has performed up there with other generators in its size. However, even though I think there's something a little bit off with the internals on this thing, it is still performing right up there with these other generators in its size range. So this is a solid deal on eBay right now. You can get this machine for about $250, I believe is where it's at. Fourth of July just passed and there was a crazy deal where you could get this for $199. Um, at that price range, I would consider buying this again. It is a solid machine. Hopefully the uh, piston rings get seated a little bit better. And then from there, um, this will be a solid machine once it is appropriately built in. And maybe that's just something with these Furman engines. They will use a little bit of oil right out of the box. I will, however, run this new unit that Furman sends to me. I will go through the same exact break-in procedure and see if this next one behaves the same way. If it doesn't, then I know that this one likely has problems. If it does, then it's probably just a Furman-specific issue. So now that the Furman has finally shut down and run out of its half gallon of fuel in the tank, we can take a look at the results here. Now again, we did run a half a gallon tank at 50% load, and it ran for 2 hours and 31 minutes, which is 2.5 hours here in the sheet. Now, based on the gas tank size, we would estimate that we would get 4.5 hours out of the fuel tank at when it is full. Now, the advertised runtime is about double that. So Furman might, might want to reevaluate that. Um, I thought that was a pretty lofty um, number down here. Um, and then the kilowatt hours provided was 2.2 kilowatt hours, um, which comes out to cost 75 cents per hour while you're running it, per kilowatt hour while you're running it. Now, if we come over here and compare this to the most comparable generator is this Westinghouse, which operates on an 80cc engine as well. However, it is manufactured by a different organization. Um, it had the Westinghouse has a larger fuel tank. However, the uh, Furman did end up running just a little bit longer. Um, however, it does have a smaller fuel tank, so it has less runtime per its uh, smaller fuel tank size there. It did provide the same amount of kilowatt hours as the Westinghouse. And across the board, it was pretty similar to the rest of these. Um, and so even though the engine wasn't performing at what I think was its highest level, it still did perform comparable with the rest of these. Um, the weight of it is 49.5 pounds, which is about right when you think about the suitcase generators and their weights um, for most of these comparable generators. It does not have electric start. It does not have remote start. It, does not, it is not dual fuel capable. So that was the test of the Furman W2000i inverter generator. As I mentioned, there were some problems throughout it. And this machine is okay. Um, I think Furman runs into some quality issues with them. 
Um, since this is also a factory re refurbished generator from Furman on eBay, I believe this was probably a Costco return that got refurbished, quote unquote, in their words, and sent out to other people. Now, Furman did actually reach out to me after I had sent them a message on eBay, and they're actually sending me another one of these and just telling me to use this thing for parts. Um, so we'll see if that actually shows up. I, I believe it though. I've, I've given Furman some business uh, over the last, uh, last few weeks here, and so they're definitely gonna follow through on that. But this machine still performed up there with the other generators, even though the internals might not be 100%. So I will run this through the new version of it that comes here in the next couple of weeks. I will run that through the test again and give you guys an update. So this is Cody with the Connected Camper. We're going to have more generators just like this coming through our testing scenario. So be on the lookout for future videos. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment if you have ideas for future videos. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.